Hi there, Flatcap Chef, and um, we're going to show you how to make a uh, very easy, quick and easy, call your own guacamole. So, uh, all we need is uh, avocado. I've got two. I've already scooped one out. Show you that in a second. Uh, I've got some red onion. I've got some tomato. I've got some chili, and I've got some lime. Um, you can add coriander to this if you want to. I'm not going to today. So, I've scooped out one of the uh, avocados already. We'll do the second one now. So. Uh, fairly easy to do, straight round, there we go, twist, and there we have it. Now, a quick tip on uh, these whilst I'm getting this out. If you use half an avocado and you don't want to use the other half, um, it'll go black as you know. So the tip here is leave the stone in, uh, wrap it in cling film, put it in the fridge, and you should find that it doesn't go brown. Right, so let's get the stone out of this, my usual way, which is put it in and then twist, which normally works. These ones are quite little, so you have to work them out. There we go, work around the stone. That's what happens with these small ones, because the stone actually connects itself to the back of the avocado. So you can get a bit messy. There we go. Done. Wash your hands. Uh, right, so now I'm going to add my one red chilli, which is red chilli, green chilli. I prefer red because it looks prettier. Some people use green because it's all green then. I'm going to add um, half of a red onion. It's only a small one. I've ch chopped it pretty fine. I'm going to use up the rest of it in another dish. That's okay. I won't waste it. And then I've got my tomato, which I've chopped up pretty fine. Now, the tip about tomatoes, show you, sharp knife, okay? If you don't have a sharp knife, squidges everywhere. But if you've got a sharp knife, look, you see, it's so easy. Bridge over there. It doesn't tear it then. Okay, and then we'll just chop it this way. And we're done. And then all I need to do is take a fork, Squish it down, mix it together. Doesn't matter if it pops out. I find if you put your sort of hand around it, it means you can keep it in. I've got it in a quite small bowl here, could have used a bigger bowl. I quite like it to be a bit chunkier, don't it too smooth, so you can still actually taste it and get the texture. So, there we go. So easy, so quick to make. You've got a nice junky guacamole. If you want to see more, just uh, subscribe and you'll get an update every time I post. And uh, we'll be back soon.